If you've ever traveled Highway 290 through Brenham, you've probably noticed a small cluster of buildings a few miles outside of town on the south side of the highway. The story about how these got here is just as interesting as the story about why they are abandoned. Join me as I venture through the history of Winkleman, Texas. Winkleman, Texas is not actually a town. Its namesake, Ray Winkleman, was a developer and antiques dealer based in nearby Brenham, and in his dealings he began to acquire and renovate historic buildings around Central Texas, largely in Washington County. The wooden vernacular structures found in this area were easy to move, and as population and business patterns shifted over the years, Winkleman was able to save 150 historic buildings from demolition. He dreamed of creating a tourist village along the busy Austin to Houston route, and in 1983 moved 25 buildings to this site four miles east of Brenham. The president of Washington County Bank encouraged him to buy the property and provided financing for the entire project. The relocated buildings were restored and converted into a variety of romanticized establishments that would have been found in an 1800s Texas town. At its commercial peak, Winkleman featured several restaurants and stores, most notably the Jezebel Saloon. There were also homes offered as lodging. Winkleman filled the buildings with kitschy antiques and decor, establishing a place that was a step back in time. The village was the crowning achievement of Ray Winkleman's lifetime passion for historic buildings, an entire town of buildings saved from the wrecking ball and assembled into a settlement bearing his name. It's unclear how prosperous Winkleman was at the beginning, but within only a few years of its inception, the town faced serious financial problems. Business dwindled in the 1980s economic crash, and revenue at Winkleman, Texas dropped. It's also speculated that people stopped patroning the businesses here because Winkleman was gay, and the economic crash coincided with the AIDS crisis. It was not a popular time to be gay in general, let alone in rural Washington County. Whatever the true cause, Winkleman fell behind on his payments to Washington County Bank, and the land was foreclosed on in 1986. For the most part, it has been abandoned ever since. The property has sold several times since its initial bank auction in 89, and entertained several reiterations over the years. For a while after the latest business closed, squatters took over a handful of the buildings. A few years ago, the remaining squatters were removed, all the buildings were boarded up, and the site was fenced off from public access. Around 2015, five dilapidated buildings at the rear of the plot were demolished. The scraps still sit in a pile adjacent to their original location. The remainder of the structures appear to be in fairly good shape. The once electrified signpost still stands tall along Highway 290, though nearly all of the placards are gone. Although the village has been abandoned for years, electricity is still on for security lighting, and basic maintenance is performed on the buildings in the land. Winkleman passed away in 1994 at the age of 48, less than 10 years after the village had been foreclosed upon. Oddly enough, this wasn't his only foray into hospitality. He also opened the Brazos Bell, a restaurant in Burton that was highly successful financially and remains open to this day. Winkleman oversaw his hamlet for only three years before it went into foreclosure. It certainly did not work out as he had hoped, but it stands as a legacy in its own right, an odd piece of the Winkleman family's long and compelling history here in Washington County. I highly recommend watching the Vimeo video listed in the description. This 2011 short film by Caleb Garcia includes news reports about the village and interviews with Winkleman himself, as well as several radio jingles that were used to promote the attraction. I've driven by Winkleman regularly since the 90s, but it wasn't until making this video that I bothered to look into the story behind it. I have always been intrigued by the derelict and dilapidated, especially when I can delve into the history of eclectic places like Winkleman. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel and join me on the next adventure.